Hey, mom. How are you? How how was the game? Oh, they almost had it on several occasions, and it got away from them, and they beat it by one score. One score? Oh my god. Did you see another movie? I did see another movie. Okay, so they showed me um, this Woody Allen film called The Purple Rose of Cairo. And yeah, they meant yeah, they were talking about it. I can see why they wanted to show it to me because it it has the romance has a lot of similarities with the novel pursuits, right? And yeah. well, that's surprising. <laughs> just in kind of the spirit of it. So it's 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 about like this woman in the 1930s in the Great Depression and she has a miserable life. She reminds me of Sharon in that she's very like a normal person, but her life is is terrible and she her she kind of escapes into what the movies, like she watches the movies to escape from it. And I can relate. Yeah. yeah. And she she watches this one movie, The Purple Rose of Cairo, so many times that uh, not the main character, but like a secondary character sees her and comes out of the film. And he falls in love with her. It's, it's a very surreal concept, but it's portrayed in this very whimsical way where you know he doesn't know anything about the real world and it, the movie logic is all he knows and so so she's showing him around you know the great depression era america and he he doesn't know any of it and it's very so so it's like how how the novel pursuits is showing is showing him Yeah, it's a little bit like Parch, a little bit like that. It's it's very different in in tone and stuff, and it's 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 not a it's not a happy movie because it's very in the 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 pull between the reality, her reality is so sad, and and how you know the fantasy, and you know he's a he's a fictional character, he's not real, but you know, and also also. The the actor of the part is in the movie as well as a separate character because once he comes out of the screen, every there's pandemonium and all the people in Hollywood are freaking out of like, oh my god, he came out of the screen and this is gonna ruin this actor's career. No one's gonna put him in a part, so he has to he has to convince his character to go back in the screen. That's like his goal, and he's very different from the from the character. The character is all very, very sweet and like the perfect gentleman, and his night and and the, the actor is all about his career and is a little bit of a jerk. I'm pretty not a little bit. He's a jerk, but but it it was really cool. And and Jeff Daniels played it. Young Jeff Daniels. Oh wow! And he played both the actor and the. Oh no! I I loved it. It was awesome. It, I got you know I got misty eyed at the end. It was a, an emotional ending, and it it doesn't leave you. It's not happy the way it's done, but I mean so much so that that apparently someone told. Woody Allen, that if he just changed the ending, he was going to get a hit movie, and he refused because the ending was the whole point that he, why he made the movie in the first place. <laughs> but. Well, yeah, that's a. Now, is there anything that you would change? N me? No. I, I actually, I can't. I loved. Can I loved can every minute of the movie. It was. Also, it was very short. It's only an hour and twenty two minutes. So it's it's very it doesn't have extraneous scenes kind of. It's very it's very tight. 
which was a big contrast since I watched I watched Furioso only a couple days ago, and Furioso was way too long of a movie. How long was it? Furioso was two hours and thirty minutes or something. I know I I know you like long during movies, but they, it there was a bunch of things that didn't need to be in them. You'll like it though. I think you'll like it. Awesome. But yeah, so it was it was very. I'm I'm I understand why they showed it to me. It's it's it was it was a beautiful film. It was beautiful. I loved it. Also, they did a great job of because the the movie within the movie was black and white. So, right, there was a very nice thing with colors where they go into the move when they step into the movie, it's all in black and white, and when they step out of the movie, it's in color. And that and the the acting was wonderful. I really liked the acting very much. I also, you know, what I heard was, um, you know, remember Viggo Morganson? Of course. Yeah, Aragorn. He was in that movie, and he was very proud of it. And he took all his friends and family to see the movie in theaters, not realizing that his small part that he was in had been cut. <laughs> I was like, so he went, he went. Really? <laughs> Could you have just taken a few moments to tell me that it was a minute? Yeah, I, I, I felt so bad. That's kind of sad. It is. Also, Jeff Daniels wasn't going to be the original um, uh, romantic lead character. You know who used to have the part? Michael Keaton. For ten, yeah, for ten days he did the part, and apparently he act, his acting was was fine and great, but he didn't. That he and the director both agreed that his acting style wasn't old school enough. It it looked it was too modern, and and it didn't feel like a nineteen thirties film actor, you know. Right. So they so they did Jeff Daniels instead. He was great. I love he because he had to play two parts. He played yeah, the. He, was ability to play a really good he, he oh my gosh! It was very parch like in the just the innocence. The wild eyed innocence. Pure innocence. It was. It was adorable. Very there's so so many very charming sweet scenes that just just kind of melted your heart. Even though it. Like, which one was your favorite? My fave. There's favorite sweet scene. Favorite sweet scene in the movie. Hmm. So it sounds like you're having a hard time choosing. There's a scene with. The, this is not with the the fictional character. This is with the actor, but they they have this moment where you learn that the that the main girl can play um the ukulele and she plays the ukulele with the actor and there I just that scene was very it it was very infectious really all of it was infectious bec because the protagonist was so was was likable she was likable and and she had such a miserable life that when you when she got whisked away into some this happy fantasy you felt so happy for her because she she took it with such with such wonder and awe, you know. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was. Well, that's what that's what people love from the romance movies. Yeah, they do. Oh, anyway, that's all I have to say about that. I think. It's only four seconds. <laughs> I have to say about that. <laughs> I can't do this. That's all I have to. I can't. No, I gotta work on that. <laughs>